Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name's Evelyn and this is Bright Star. And for the this is the first video under this new channel. And for the first video, I want to talk a little bit about building routines and habits. Um, so one of the things that I know uh, a lot of people struggle with is routine and how do I keep a habit going over time? And in my opinion, the success to pre or the, sorry, the key to success in pretty much anything, whether you're talking about building an exercise routine, building a mindfulness meditation routine, building uh, a business, um, getting better in your career, being a better parent is consistency. And so, you've got to learn the consistency game. You've got to learn how to play that game, how to con how to maintain that game over time because that ultimately um, that is where the struggle will come in is the is the maintenance over time. You know, I was I was watching an interview the other day um, and I heard the person say willpower is overrated, right? And it, it's kind of true. Like so I'm I'm also reading a book on willpower. It's called oddly enough, willpower. Um, and they, they, there's a lot of great studies on willpower out there, but ultimately willpower is a finite resource. We only have but so much willpower in a given day. And as we go through our day, it actually depletes. And so how can you keep going towards your goals, knowing that this willpower is going to give out at some point? So you can't just, I'll say muscle your way through. You can't just say, well, I have this idea. I'm just going to keep pushing and pushing and pushing and pushing because eventually you will burn out, especially for those of us that are a little bit older, like my 35th birthday is behind me. So I like I can't just energize bunny my way through everything. And and so you college students out there, if anybody's watching this in college, you can't just once you get out in life, like you can't just um, cram for an exam and then ace it and think that that's it because it's not. That's not how life works. Right. That's not how regular real life works. There's not just this one thing that you can like um, just beat and then, oh, you're done. No, life, adult life is repetitive things over and over and over and over, which I get is like hard. Uh, I think it's hard for anybody, no matter who you are. Um, I know some people kind of handle it better than others, but I think as a human being, I think part of being human means that, well, we have the human needs, right? So Tony Robbins talks about human needs and <clears throat> one of the human needs is variety. And so no matter how strong your human need for uh, routine and control is, you also have a human need for variety. And these two things are always sort of at odds with each other. And so you need to learn how to balance those. Okay, so I'm going to start with just like habits 101. So this is going to be a super basic video. This is my first video on this channel. I am not here to overwhelm you. I'm here to get you in here and get you kind of wanting more and hearing more, right? So have it so i'm gonna talk so what i'm saying here is there's more okay so if you watch this video and you're like okay well i knew that stay tuned because there's more i'm starting with the basics i'm starting with somebody who has no routine whatsoever so the first i think key to building routines is you got to know your why you know simon sinex it starts with why it starts with why with getting buy-in with your team it starts with why with getting buy-in for yourself and for yourself that is your purpose. What is your purpose? What is your goal? And this is the thing that I think a lot of people just skip because I'm, I, I'll talk to people, I'll talk to people and they'll say, you know, oh, Evelyn, you're so disciplined. Like, you know, how do you do it? What do you do? Right. And they immediately want to go to the what, like, what do you do? How do you, what, what is it that you do? And first I ask them, well, what are you trying to do? What's your why? Right. So, so yeah, do you like, so people here, for example, I wake up every day at 5 a.m., okay? Pretty much every day. Like, today's Sunday that I'm recording this. I woke up a little bit. Like, on the weekends, I'm not as, like, strict about it. I don't have an alarm set or anything. But, like, I've gotten to the point where I just naturally wake up at about 5.30. No alarm, you know, whatsoever. But, you know, people ask me, like, well, I want to wake up at 5 a.m. And so my question is, why? For what, what reason? Like, what's your why? Uh, once you connect with your purpose, um get clear on that purpose and fall in love with that purpose because that purpose is what's going to get you through the hard times. So inevitably, no matter who you are, no matter what you're trying to do, you're going to hit a setback. Something, the world is going to throw something at you. It is just part of the reality of the world we live in. I think 
one of the biggest myths we were ever sold, especially in the United States. So I can only speak for the States, right? I, I, I know people watch from all over the world. I get it. But in the United States, the biggest myth we were ever sold was happily ever after. There's no such thing. There's no such thing as happily ever after. You don't get the man. And then you're like, woohoo, I'm done. I got the man. We got the castle. He turned from a beast into a person. Happily ever after y'all. No, 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 no. At the end of that ballroom dance, they had to clean that up. Um, they had to go to the bathroom. Like things happen. Maybe, maybe a storm came the next year and like took out half the castle. Like life goes on. <laughs> there is no, I have a bit of a cold. So if I like cough a little bit, I apologize. But there is no happily ever after. So get that idea out of your head. That's, I guess that's another thing. So connect with your why, because when the bad things happen and they will, you need to know why you're doing it. Why are you getting to up at 5 a.m.? Why are you trying to lose weight? Why are you giving up gluten or carbs? Or why are you exercising, right? You gotta know why. Um, for me personally, so I made a huge lifestyle change. Oh God, it's been 10 years now. It's 2009, okay? I was, I was looking at, it was 2008, 2009 timeframe. I was looking at my 30, or my, sorry, my 25th birthday. And I was overweight. I was, I was working out a lot. I was doing martial arts even then. I didn't have Bob, didn't have my own personal Bob. But, you know, I was doing karate and stuff. But I was overweight. Um, and so I made the decision. I was like, I want to be healthy for my 25th birthday. It just so happened that the Race for the Cure, very famous 5K for breast cancer, happened to be right around my birthday. And I said, I want to run a 5K. Full, of, you know, I had never run three miles um, without stopping at that time. I'd never done it. Now here today, I've done a half marathon with obstacles, right? But 10 years ago, Evelyn, 5K was a big deal. It was hard. It was impossible thinking. I remember talking to a coworker and saying, you know, I'm going to do a 5k, but I'm really scared. And he's like, you got this. And I was like, what? Like to me, a 5k was really intimidating, and really scary to do. Um, but I had a why. My why was I didn't want to be an unhealthy 25 or 26 year old. I knew that I was young enough to get a handle on this thing now before kids, before I had a husband, but you know, before before kids mostly, before career got really big, right? I, I mean, I was still relatively new in my career, maybe, you know, three to five years into my career. You know, before life would start to close in on me, I knew that I was in that early stage of my life and that was the time to do it. And so what I did was, for me, it was, I had to clean up my diet. I had to learn how to eat healthy. My entire relationship to food had to change. Food went from being a reward, a fun, tasty, like sensory experience to being fuel. How is my food going to fuel me and going to sustain my health? Food went from being a pleasure and a joy and a thing to medicine almost, right? And that, that shift and change is very hard. Um, but what kept me consistent through that time was I was connected to my why. And then the other thing I tell people, if, if I only say two things in this intro video to, to routines and habits, this, this is it. Know your why. Secondly, track your results. So people, that's the other thing. Folks want to make changes. They, they want to make changes. They want to do things. They don't track anything. And so I'm like, oh, how do you know you're not already there? Like, first of all, what's, oh yeah, what's your why? Why are you doing it? What's your goal? Which I, I guess, I guess the why and the goal, they're sort of the same, but what's your goal? And how are you tracking towards it? So maybe it's three things. Maybe it's not two. Maybe it's kind of three. Um, because I, I think that people have this idea like, oh, it would be great to wake up at 5 a.m. every day. Yeah, but number one, why are you doing it? Like, why do you want to wake up at five? Uh, number two, what's your goal? Maybe those are the same question. And then number three, how are you tracking? Like, where are you waking up now? Like, do you wake up at noon now? Maybe five is a bit of a stretch, right? Like, or are you waking up at six now? Are you waking up at 5.30 now? If you're waking up at 5.30 and you want to wake up at five, okay, great. Set your alarm 10 minutes earlier for a little while and then for like a week, track that, set it down, track it, set it, and then get to where you want to get to, right? And I, I think that's that's where I see a lot of people stumble. Um, they aren't doing one of those things like that. That stool is not on all those legs. Uh, they're either just doing a habit because they heard it was good. They've got a New Year's resolution, by the way. Actually, so it's November. 
this might be a series leading up to New Year's resolutions because I think I don't set them. I am not a fan. Um, but that being said, I mean, I see value in picking a time of year to reassess your goals. Um, I personally do it around my birthday because to me, it's like my personal new year. Like, okay, what do I want? What is Evelyn in the next year of her life going to want? January 1st is, 1st is interesting and, you know, a good time. A lot of people are doing it, but um, there's nothing magical or special about January 1st. Wow, that was a side tangent. I apologize. Uh, except for maybe a teaser. Maybe I'll make a little bit more on that. So so yeah, th that's enough. I want to keep these to about 10 minutes at the most. Um, so let me know what you think in the comments. Let me know what you'd like me to talk about next. Like I said, this is meant to be an intro video into routine setting and habit tracking. This is by no means the be all end all. Come back for more. Would love to talk to you guys. Thanks and bye.